guys hello we're back yeah I'm not sure when's the last vlog I think it's when we showed you the spare room yeah it's been a little while I think that's when it was and then August 24th came and everything went into a whirlwind mm -hmm. so we I gonna speak for myself felt like a hypocrite just picking up the camera and being like Hey, all bubbly, and I was like, but my brother-in-law is very sick in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And we just needed to process, and I just didn't feel like vlogging the things that I normally vlog about. Even though I was, like, happy to be doing these things, like certain things that happened that were fun, but we didn't vlog at all. Yeah, the thing is, we have to be genuine, as you said, right? I mean, you can't, of course, if we're going, I mean, since we're going through a trial, with having, you know, like your uh, brother-in-law being very ill, um, you know, like, obviously we can't just vlog and be like, hey guys, hi, how yeah. are you doing? Because, you know... We could have still vlogged. Yeah, but... And processed, which we wanted to do. Right. But it's like we didn't have the energy to process mm -hmm. in front of a camera. Right. So we did, we did take time for ourselves, actually. Well, yeah. The day after we learned that Mike had leukemia, mm -hmm. we were given the day off and yep. it really helped to just stop, read the Bible more than we normally would, pray more than we normally would mm -hmm. um, if we had to work and then just listen to some music and, and really process. Of course it doesn't get processed in one day, this is huge. No. Yeah. Mike could have died any time. And he's still very fragile. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot to take in. And it felt like... It's because we were also very busy. Mm. <laughs> and that's why the processing took longer. Mm -hmm. We were very busy with school starting again. Not us going to school, but like no. the students coming back and activities starting mm -hmm. again. The orientation weeks. So, literally when I was looking at my Facebook profile, it was a post about a student activity and then a post about update on Mike's health and then a student activity and a post on Mike's health mm -hmm. update. It was literally, it was very, uh, what's the word? Um, Representative? Yeah. Of yeah, our lives. Yeah. It was very busy with student activities and also trying not to worry about my sister and the boys and my brother-in-law. It's almost like you had to almost like compartmentalize the emotions because when you're hanging out with the students, I didn't want to. I didn't. Well, no, we didn't want to. Didn't, didn't want to compartmentalize, but sometimes and we shared with some of them. We did, but there's sometimes where maybe not like you don't want to do it all. Like, oh yeah, purpose, if it's the first time you meet them, you don't really want to talk about this. You had to kind of compartmentalize yeah. it, which is not easy to do because, as you said. Yeah, something like that, you can't just put it on the shelf. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's there, it's it's real, it's present. Yeah, thankfully there's this thing called adrenaline, yeah. which kicks in when you're around people. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so it helps you to forget, but at the same time, it's just temporary. And when we come yeah. back home, we'd just be wiped out because the adrenaline crash, yeah. and also because the reality would hit us in the face again. Yeah. Be like, okay like let's check our messages now and we don't know what we're gonna see because mm -hmm. there were a lot of bad news every time i looked at my whatsapp mm -hmm. our family writes on whatsapp right there'd be not so good news so but of course i wanted to read those i wanted to know how mm -hmm. mike was doing and how my sister was doing and how she was coping and how the boys were doing mm -hmm. so of course like i'm not saying that like i didn't want to read them but like I was always afraid right. to read them and I just 
reinforced you know, through their fragility of life, right? I mean, like, even huh, like other people that we've known, some they know not that much, some we've known maybe a bit more, but other people that you know, they have passed away, and it's like, some of them were young, too, when they passed away, like, early yeah. 50s. We were at a funeral. We were at a funeral past this past Monday, and he was only, what, 52, I think? Yes. So, you know, it. I can't imagine the family, how they're feeling right now, right? And, uh, and it just reminds us that, hey, you know, um, yeah, our time is is short and we don't know when our time is up yeah but that's one thing you know, really have appreciated from um you know our well from uh miriam's brother in in, in law and the whole family just how they have kept their focus on on god i mean mm-hmm. i can't imagine how someone can make it through that without having their focus on on God, I mean, God just gives that peace and that and that hope, um, which are two essential things that you need, especially to get through <clears throat> you know a situation like when you're battling um, um, cancer. Yeah. So if you have no idea what we're talking about, um, let's just give you a recap. I we just assume that most of you do know because. Mm-hmm we post on Facebook every day, right? Yeah. Uh, but August 24th, we heard that my brother-in-law, Mike, has mm-hmm. leukemia. And right away, he was admitted into a hospital and began chemotherapy the next morning for a week straight. And uh, he was in the hospital for 30 days. And my sister was able to visit him, mm. uh, but not his... Well, they're not their boys because anyone under 16 years of age was not allowed in the unit. Mm. So this was really, really rough um, on the whole family not being able to be together. Mm -hmm. Uh, And just no warning. Mike felt sick that morning. Well, he had been feeling unwell. They went to hospital and then just learned he had leukemia and he had to to go in the hospital and be there. Um, So it was a shock. A shock to everybody and at the same time he also had other infections um, and then Mary Ave eventually also got sick so there's a few days where she couldn't go mm-hmm. also to visit him um, they have been surrounded by a tremendous amount of love from mm-hmm. their church family and also from friends family members mm-hmm. uh, Mike's mother was there for a few days and now my dad is there a couple of weeks and so it's good to see how many people have come behind them in prayer Mm -hmm. um, supporting financially as well making meals and people who don't even know them are praying for them it's just amazing to see how the body of Christ Mm. is coming together Um, and also as Sunshine shared it's been and to me that's the most encouraging part the most encouraging part is to see how Mike and Mary are using this as a, as a way to display God's glory. And yeah. that's the best and right thing to do in this right. kind of situation. Like basically, God has given them peace. I mean, ultimately, our heart's desire is that Mike will recover to full strength, right? But if it is God's timing for Mike to go home, they are as well at peace with that. And that's only something that God can can uh, can do I mean um, definitely you know like we went to that funeral was it this last uh, Monday. Monday too right I mean yes the family obviously misses their you know their father and and uh, husband and they wish obviously he could live longer um, and I know you know if if Mike if this would be his time to go, obviously we all would miss him ter- ter- terribly too. But we also know that he loves God. Mm-hmm. And we know that death doesn't have the final say. Um, but as I have mentioned, we are praying and hoping that he will recover to full strength. And, uh, mm-hmm. and 
that. So please pray with us. Yeah. And then we could see the whole family again. And Oh, yes, there's this too. Yeah. Actually, that was like when we heard the news mm. that Mike had leukemia and had to stay in the hospital. Mm. Uh, that was one week before they were supposed to fly to Canada. And mm. we were supposed to be the whole family together for a yeah. weekend. So that did not happen, obviously. And that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, so yes, the update is that now Mike is out of the hospital mm -hmm. as of Thursday, which is good news. He's still very fragile yeah. and very sick, um, but he's at home, recovering yeah. at home and being treated as an outpatient. So he has to go quite often to the hospital still to receive treatment. Mm -hmm. So yes, please do keep praying for them, mm -hmm. the whole family. I pray for healing and pray for continued peace and strength as Definitely. they process the magnitude of things and adjust to a new normal hmm. so we did vlog sporadically hmm. but hardly anything in the last month so here's a little bit of everything yeah <laughs> enjoy <laughs> yeah it's very random Hey guys! Hello! Welcome to a new week! Yeah. Today I tried something new. I made a new dessert, which I don't often make desserts. I made this rocky road. It's made with popcorn and marshmallows and chocolate and pumpkin seeds. The thing is, like we're supposed to put them in clumps like this, which I did. And I wasn't sure if it was going to hold together, so I just flattened it out and put it in the fridge. But it looks like it actually works this way, the way it's supposed to be. So next time, I'll make them properly. Oh. <laughs> How is it? Mmm. It's really good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I have regained my composure. But this was in my flip-flop. Yes. <laughs> How? did this get inside our apartment? Sing unto the Lord a new one song Sing unto the Lord all the earth do Sing unto the Lord a new three song Sing unto the Lord all the earth for let everything that hath breath Let everything five that hath breath Let everything that hath breath breath Six Lord You wanna you wanna pray seven him Eight That's when you wanna do your physio but you also wanna sing You just do both at the same time Ten Oh, guys, there was another snake in our apartment. Here is the murder scene. <laughs> snake was killed first with a flip-flop and then forever destroyed with a knife. <laughs> he is no more. No. Also, there's one more thing I wanted to show you, which is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. We were going to have pizza for supper. Frozen pizza. So I opened the lovely box. Only to find this inside. Where is the pizza at? Seriously, Maxie? Seriously? <laughs> what kind of pizza is that? I don't know what happened to this pizza, but I don't think it's sanitary to be eaten because what if it just like thawed and then was frozen again, or like got really hot in the delivery truck or whatever. I'm returning this. We're not getting sick over pizza. It's time for a date. Yep. So, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Hey guys! Hello. Welcome to the Putin Fest! <laughs> 
here is a Texan pizza, uh, not pizza, <laughs> poutine, yeah, with curly fries. Hey guys. You know you're really tired when you talk to your toaster because the toaster responds. Okay, it has like a vibration when I hit certain notes. Hello? 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 Woo! Did you hear that? Woo! <laughs> How come you're getting a dumbbell and it's not your birthday? <laughs> Getting rid of a different dumbbell. Oh, it's a trade in. Yeah. Alright, so we put the other dumbbell in marketplace. Yeah, this is definitely a 40. Yeah, and then everybody screams because you're not wearing shoes and you're right by the scissors. Terrible idea. Uh, you should probably put that down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now my wife's heart may be at rest. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you're doing well. We've hardly vlogged the last two weeks, but uh, here we are. <laughs> it's been emotional, crazy busy, and so um, that's why we haven't really vlogged. Okay, so one of the things why it's been crazy busy, the students are back and we are working with students, hello! <laughs> so we are busy, and so for three mornings this week, we uh, set up a booth on the street, well, in someone's driveway, and we handed out snacks for the students, told them about our student meals coming up, and activities for international students. So, we had free breakfast snacks for them, and unfortunately, one of the apple bags had a rotten apple in them, in it, so because there was one rotten apple, it made the rest of the bag go bad. I think we got most of them given away before they started rotting but there was like five apples that were left that were just not give giveable awayable <laughs> whatever the word is presentable. presentable so i brought them home five apples i made a little bit of applesauce it makes maybe two portions i'm not sure but uh we wouldn't have been able to eat them just like that like raw it would have been ugh, gross but cooked is good <laughs> All right, who wants some cabbage juice? It's not for drinking. It's just water and shredded cabbage for checking the soap pH. So not really something you want to drink. Okay, so I've got three heads of cabbage here and I am making coleslaw because we have a mishui tonight at our church. 